Hi, I'm Amy and welcome to my channel where I talk about things I've learned along the way to help manage my melasma. Today I am talking about dietary and nutritional supplements. There are so many topical treatments for melasma or hyperpigmentation and dark spots and for skin brightening and it can be confusing and frustrating quite frankly because of the disappointing effectiveness of some products along with side effects that can sometimes make melasma patches worse and not to mention the overall nature of melasma and the common occurrence of melasma relapses. So I started thinking about supplements. People commonly take supplements for many reasons to help promote bone and joint health, for heart health, colon health, overall health, and overall mood to name just a few. And there are certainly vitamins and extracts for topical use that are widely researched and present in many skincare products, even makeup, and probably in ones that you are currently using and are very familiar with. Well, I decided to look and see if there are any studies related to oral supplements and skin health, specifically for melasma. I will set up a link below to the study I found for the information in this video. And before I jump into it, I want to say, as I have written in the description boxes for all my videos, I am a registered nurse and I want to state again that my channel does not provide medical advice. But if you are interested in hearing about what I found in a few studies and the supplements I take, please keep watching. There is a 12-week study out of Spain that was published in March of 2019 that looked at the benefits and tolerability of an oral nutritional dietary supplement. And in a nutshell, the study looked at 30 women with mild to moderate melasma who were given a nutritional supplement and provided with SPF 50 with guidelines on how to apply it during the course of the study. So the women were chosen based on skin type and had to meet criteria such as no recent use of certain skin lightening products or use of hormone therapy. So I am going to summarize the study, but I do encourage you to read the full article. So the study looked at the data collected at baseline and compared it to the data collected on day 28, 56, and 84. So the objective data collected showed decreased melasma and reduction in pigmentation of melasma, all of which were statistically significant. So the conclusion of the study is simply stated, and I'm going to read it directly from uh, the article, and it states, the studied oral nutritional dietary supplements containing pinus, pinister, bark extract, grapeseed extract, vitamins and minerals is effective and well tolerated as a treatment option for mild to moderate facial melasma in combination with high SPF sunscreen. So I want to go ahead and jump right into the supplements and share the information I read in the studies. The first is French Maritime Pine Bark Extract or Pinus Pinister. It's a natural plant extract containing proanthocyanidins, which is rich in antioxidants and known to have a wide range of possible health benefits. A study demonstrated that a daily intake of 75 milligrams was therapeutically effective against melasma after 30 days of treatment. No side effects or negative reactions were observed during this study. So French Maritime Pine Bark Extract is available in different dosages. I am taking this one by Source Naturals, which is a 25 milligram tablet with the label suggested use of one to four tablets daily. I take one dab tablet three times daily to give me the 75 milligrams daily as indicated in the study. Now, Pycnogenol is a standardized extract of French Maritime Pine Bark, so you will see it labeled like this as well. This says Pycnogenol uh, Proanthocyanidin Complex, and on the back side where the supplement facts are located, it lists French Maritime Pine Bark Extract 25 milligrams. 
Next is grapeseed extract, which is also rich in proanthocyanidins. In a one-year study of Japanese women with melasma, 67 milligrams of grapeseed extract three times a day effectively reduced the hyperpigmentation and the extract was also shown to be safe and well tolerated. So similar to the pine bark extract, I found that there are many supplements that contain grapeseed extract in a wide range of dosages. But I did find this one that is a 200 milligram capsule with the suggested use on this label of one capsule daily, which is what I take, and that's essentially the daily amount in this study. This one is also by Source Naturals. The vitamins discussed in this study are vitamin C, E, B3, and the mineral selenium. So looking at the benefits of these supplements related to skin health, they are all powerful antioxidants. They also have photoprotective effects, which refers to the body's ability to minimize damage caused by UV rays, which would ideally help minimize or prevent dark spots. Taking vitamin C orally can help improve the effectiveness of sunscreens by decreasing skin cell damage caused by harmful UV rays and by helping to repair damaged skin. Also, vitamin C is required by enzymes involved in the production of collagen, so it can play a role in reducing signs of aging. Now, with a well-balanced diet, you are most likely getting adequate amounts of vitamin C, which are found in, of course, citrus fruits. Also in red peppers, broccoli, sweet potatoes, strawberries, to name a few. And because of the way the body absorbs vitamin C, it's a finite amount. So you will often hear that what your body can't absorb, it will just pee out, which is the case with water-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin C. Next is vitamin E, which has anti-inflammatory properties and can absorb the energy from UV light, and it works with vitamin C to strengthen skin cell walls. There are studies that show that vitamin C combined with vitamin E reduce sunburn reactions. Nuts and seeds are a good source of vitamin E. Another water-soluble vitamin is vitamin B3, also known as niacin, and it also helps protect skin cells from sun damage. And some foods high in niacin are canned tuna, wild-caught salmon, avocado, peanuts, and whole wheat products. And the last one is selenium, which is a mineral that helps antioxidants protect skin from UV rays. And some foods high in Selenium are Brazil nuts, meats, poultry, seafood, and eggs. Now, if you are not getting sufficient amounts of vitamins and minerals in your diet or you just want to supplement, the vitamins and mineral I mentioned can all be found in a good multivitamin. I have been taking this one, which is by Kirkland's. It's their organic multivitamin. Um, it is certified organic. It has no synthetic vitamins or artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. It is whole food source and plant-based. And the suggested use on this label is one tablet daily, which is the dose I take. Now, I have been taking the French Maritime Pine Bark Extract, Grape Seed Extract, and Multivitamin for a couple of months and tolerating them without any problems. I cannot say for certain that they are playing a significant role, but I am taking them to help manage my melasma along with continued diligent sun protection. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And I will set up links below for the supplements I take and as I mentioned, the article of the 12-week study. And remember, if you have questions about nutritional and dietary supplements and want to know if it's right for you, please consult with your medical doctor or a licensed dietitian. Thanks for watching. Bye.